I did not give you authorization to be in my home. You're going to get pushed for it. Let's see if there's anything. I did not give you authorization. I know my rights. Stop talking. I know my rights. Okay, then stop talking if you know your rights. I'm going to tell you your rights. I'm going to inform you of your rights. We're here for a lawful reason. Right. To investigate a domestic violence situation right. where the person is outside. Your kids are the ones that called. I need to talk to then them. Then I can bring them outside. But no. you do not have the authority no. to be in my home. You're going to go stand outside. You do not have the authority. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again, and I am back with some foolery. First season, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Kim Zosiak. You know, the Caucasian chick that was on the first season. She is now, well, they're going through some stuff, divorcing. She married uh, the football player from Atlanta, uh, Croy Bierman. And uh, a lot of stuff going on with them. A lot. So the, all this talk of uh, she's gambling all the money away, infidelity, you name it, pretty much going on. They're broke. That's what's going on. And old boy is going crazy. So y'all hang on, check this out, and we're going to talk about it as we go. Let's get it of the divorce was made public. It was announced that Zolziak and Bierman owe the International Revenue Service a combined total of $1.1 million in back taxes, interest, and penalties. Now, their little situation has driven her, her husband, well, ex-husband, Croy, pretty much crazy. Check out what dude doing. Hey, police! Come here, Mr. Beerman. Beerman, yes. come, come talk to me. What's going on? It's just a bunch of nonsense. All right, come talk to me, ma'am. Stay right there. <laughs> what, what's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our life. Okay, what what happened? What? Why, right, it's why our life. Not? It's destroyed. But, what? Okay, what started the argument? Her inability to. Solve problems okay, or address them or here. do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I want to talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and, and have a whole it's a, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. You know to call 911 so someone's like alerted instead right. of it all being hearsay. You know? Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, okay. if you could just tell them that we just need to put eyes on them and have them come out real quick. It okay. won't take long. Yeah. I'll do it. We just took my wigs, took my suitcases, and that's. It's just whatever, but we're fine. Yeah. I'm leaving. Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. I was trying to get the line. Who called today? Just someone from the... But I was yelling. Oh, yeah, she heard me yelling, but she knew, I mean, obviously we're trying to... Yeah. So... Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can tell you guys were... I'm trying to just get on my flight, man. <laughs> so, like, I guess she changed all flights for tomorrow, but... Yeah, that's what she said. That's what she said. I'm trying. To yeah. And now I'm in um, Columbia for three weeks. Fucking working for three weeks. So you're, I'm not, you're not going to be here for three other weeks. Okay. Okay. September 11th, okay. I'm out. Okay. Now, this is the thing. She has blown all their money. They've been together about 10, 11 years. Uh, Kim had two kids before she ever, even got with Croy when she started on the Housewives. So he came into this with two kids. And then they had two or four more kids. But... She has blown all the money. Spending, 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 spending. So now, these are the effects of all that spending. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay, what does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't, I'm not going to do this. Because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. Oh. I'm not doing this. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out what the There's nothing are. to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who? What kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. Yeah, so we've what, been outside what, this whole time. What? 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 What was your? Thoughts? Our life. What? Our life. Okay. And it's fucking destroyed. Why? Man. Why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. What don't you understand? See. This is a man who's realized what everybody's been trying to tell him over the years about his wife. She's just a gold digger. A gold digger just want to spend money. 
And so now he finds out over the last year that she's been gambling the money. Check it out. But I mean, as far as right, so so uh, basically, in the last two and a half years, she's um, uh, gambled away about seven hundred thousand okay. uh, dollars. Just in the last two and a half years, uh, total okay. in the marriage, probably about one point five million dollars. Okay. Um, and she does it online illegally, and so that's that's a major process that I'm dealing with with the, the process of the divorce. I, I just uh, retained a lawyer today. I have to go pay them tomorrow. Okay, um, that's that was so more. She's going to be served within. That was more of my yes. question, yeah, right yeah. there, because I wanted to, to well, hone well, down, like, mm -hmm. how much longer you guys are being forced to be, like, here. Mm -hmm. me. The problem is that there are, these are the assets. There are no assets to go to an apartment. Right. Bierman said in an interview that Kim Zolciak's gambling has financially devastated the family. This is my favorite casino. Oh, girl, I am happy as hell now. Paige said, There's no money. There's no house. She wants, we're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's men. What do you want? Just calm oh. down. Calm down, but I don't have a life. Somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. Here's the thing. When Croy met this girl or this woman, he was already a millionaire. He had like 11 years, 10 years in the um, NFL. He was leaving out with the Atlanta Falcons. He had a nice contract going out. Gets with her some reason they end up together and he marries the chick like i said she had two kids now that's the crazy thing she had a sugar daddy she called big papa why would you marry a woman who has a sugar daddy who keeps her up she was a kept woman she didn't work she's never worked she was a kept woman she had a kid by another guy her oldest daughter by some guy that supposedly had money married but even that other she had two so i both of them it was by men that was suspect about some other things but you come in and marry this type of woman his parents was not good with it they disagree disapproved of her and you still did it so you kind of getting what you get right now because you was told croy what's that croy you were told don't play dumb now you were told not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. Oh. What do you want? Just calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life. Troy Bierman exposes Kim Zolciak for cheating on him. Things got out of line when Croy found out Kim actually left him for a more successful man. Ever since Croy's football career started to fall to pieces, Kim Zolciak started looking for her next victim, which turns out to be a man who is much richer than Croy Bierman. Unfortunately, it wasn't long after the divorce that this news was leaked, and this caused Croy to think of Kim as a gold digger, someone who was only with him because of his success and money, not for the man he was. A little late to try to figure that out now, Croy. Obviously, things got pretty emotional in Croy's life, and for some reason, he decided taking to social media and reacting to things would be a good idea. Well, uh, Croy Bierman's recent reaction is starting to go viral all over the internet as he completely loses it on an Instagram live and literally starts crying in front of all of his fans. Croy Bierman's tough guy football player person has fallen to shambles and now his ex-wife is in the hands of another man and she's not afraid to admit it. It's crazy to think about what Croy Bierman and Kim Zolciak's relationship has come to. Two were the happiest couple at one point, literally getting married not long ago. And now they're sending messages to each other through social media and falling apart publicly. I don't have somebody who wants to to me! Calm down. What's going on, Mr. Berman? I just, like, I'm, he's just been screaming at me for like two hours, like a crazy person. Like a crazy person. Okay. What, what was the argument? Why are we all arguing? Because I just said, Why is he I just want to get a divorce. Like, I just want this to be over. I can't, he wouldn't let me leave this morning. The gate, like, is broke or whatever, so you have to, like, manually open it. He jumped in front of my car. I have all these videos. Like, he's blocking me from leaving. It's crazy how she's trying to paint a picture as if he, you know, physically assaulted her. Okay. What, what happened tonight? Just whenever you get a chance. Yeah, 
I said last night, like, I'm going to call 911. Like, I've had enough. I can't keep doing this every day of my life. Yeah. So he must have heard me last night say that. So I wouldn't get out of the bathroom. I said, no, I deserve to be in this bathroom. And he's like, get out, get out. I want to take a shower. But he locks me out, and I can't get back in. So I wouldn't leave. So it's sorry because he, he thought you uh, were calling the police? No. As far as tonight, what? No, tonight has been. Hello. Yeah, he can hear yeah, the I'm officers listening. here. Okay. He has been so aggressive. Like something's wrong with his mind. Like something's so not right for him. Ugly. Like I'm serious. Like and he, he has been following her around. Screaming like in my face. The like house and she went down. <laughs> they always have that friend on deck. They got a friend trying to explain from her house what's going on in their house. Oh, yes, yeah, she's so, he was so, it going to, you can only hear what's going on and she can be saying anything, but you're not here. Shut your, you know what, up. To the basement bedroom, and he I, put, I put a chain, I put a chain around the door with a lock, and he fucking took like cutters or something. He been aggressive, aggressive, and aggressive. And see, that woman, Kim, is smart. Listen how that officer's talking to her. All calm and comforting and everything. You know why? Because she got them big boobs out. That's why she got them out like that. That's what he's paying attention to. This is how they talk to her. She know what to do. He just started yelling. I said, grab a phone call at 5.30. I can't do this right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, like my nose is moving. This one. And then I left. I, I got, finally got out of the gate and I was walking in my robe down the street. And I was like yelling for help to my neighbor, like, please, somebody help me. He's screaming, screaming in my ear, grabbing my robe, like the back hoodie of my, of my robe. And, my robe. and I'm mentally like and physically emotionally like, cannot take this any, any longer. I'm hiding in my car, but he stuck his arm through my window so that the window stopped going up. This morning he did that? The window is that's why it's down. Otherwise, I would not have my window down with this crazy person. Mm -hmm. But this is the only place I feel safe. And if I can get him to calm down, I can try to leave. This is why my car's back then. I never do this. Today I did this when I got home from my hair appointment. 7 a.m. What is he doing? He's, he's talking to an officer. Oh, he's yelling something. Sir, I did not give you authorization to be in my home. You're going to get pushed for it. I did not give you authorization. I know my rights. I know my rights. Okay, then stop talking if you know your rights. I'm going to tell you your rights. I'm going to inform you of your rights. We're here for a lawful reason okay. to investigate a domestic violence situation right. where the person is outside. Your kids are the ones that called. I need to talk to then them. Then I can bring them outside, but no. you do not have the authority no. to be in my home. You're going to just stand outside. You do not have the authority to be in my home. No, this thing is just getting crazy and crazier. Um, they need to keep an eye on him. You know, he's a really, he's a little off. He's a little off. They need to keep an eye on him. But like I said, she's drugging through a lot, and he put himself through it. You know, I always said he was done when she had him over in the corner making wigs. Now, you went from an NFL superstar to sitting in her lounge or whatever making wigs for her, driving her around? This what, you, this what happens to guys like that. You went from an alpha to the bottom of the betas, and now you're screaming all online about to lose your mind because she done took all your money and moved on to a, to a, to a richer dude. But only thing happened out of this was Kim didn't show up to court and he did get some kind of he won part of that, whatever they got going on. So this is it. And then we're going to close this thing. Kim Zolciak did skip her divorce hearing and she upset the judge and Croy Beerman's lawyer confirms the home foreclosure. The hearing came just days after Kim Zolciak filed a motion to dismiss Croy's second divorce filing, and Kim and Croy had a hearing in their bitter divorce case, but the judge called it a waste after the Don't Be Tardy star failed to show up to the hearing, which was held via Zoom. Fulton County Superior Court judge uh, noticed all the parties were present for Wednesday's hearing, with the exception of Kim Zolciak. When the judge asked the former Real Housewives of Atlanta star's lawyer, David Boudry, to explain her whereabouts, he said that she couldn't make the hearing because she was on a flight back from Columbia, where she was filming for the MTV reality series, The Surreal Life. And the judge became visibly irritated and sternly reminded her attorney that she did not excuse Kim Zolciak's absence. And his attorney continued to apologize, prompting that was not waived for today, so she is supposed to be here. I did not waive her presence. 
Okay, so she didn't show up, and he was awarded something. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't even care, to be honest. Um, but he is asking for spy, spousal support and custody of the kids. So there you have it. You go from there to there, and there it is. Well, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And as always, make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification bell. Because it is what? It is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. Peace.